A lot of people are talking about the big debate that ABC 27 hosted last night. It was between the six Democratic candidates vying to run against Republican Congressman Scott Perry in November. They all have different ideas, but the one thing they do agree on, Congressman Scott Perry needs to go. Our Sarah Wilson has a recap. Six candidates trying to put an end to a seventh term for Scott Perry, making their case why they can take on the incumbent come November. I guarantee everyone that I listen carefully. I will represent everyone and I care about everyone. I know this uh, area better than anybody else up here. Although I lost in 2022, I've been the Democratic nominee who's performed the best. Shemaine Daniels, Mike O'Brien, Rick Copeland, Blake Lynch, Janelle Stelson, and John Broadhurst, all taking center stage. First up, the economy. A poll conducted by ABC 27 showing it's the top issue for 40% of Pennsylvania voters. It is for candidates too. Everyone on stage agreed the federal minimum wage needs to be higher at minimum $15 an hour. I will ensure that that is one of my top, top priorities. I'd like to see state lawmakers and Congress people live on the minimum wage for just a month. I think it's nearly impossible. Cheaper child care, tax reform, and social security also mentioned. We made promises to them a long time ago. They paid into systems, including myself. I paid into a system. We, as the United States of America, continue to keep our commitment to the rest of the world. We should keep our commitment to all of you. You're saying you lift the cap. That's basically increasing the social security tax on wealthier earners. Yes, of course. The Israel-Hamas war, also a defining moment. Raise your hand if you approve of President Biden, the Democrat commander in chief, his handling of the war in Gaza. Part of our role in the world is because of our moral standing and the moment um, President Biden uh, did not st stand strong on our on our on Geneva Convention violations, we failed globally. Many candidates also calling for an immediate ceasefire. There could be another ceasefire today if Hamas will return the hostages, including the Americans. And I'm tired of hearing about kids starving to death in Gaza, let alone having bombs dropped on them. As for immigration. The truth is that the crisis at the border is one that's created by far-right Republicans. Everyone agreed something needs to be done, including a path to citizenship especially for so-called dreamers, part of the DACA program. And we should make sure that we are funding our border agents, making sure they have the resources needed so they can return home safely to their families. I'm a proud product of Pennsylvania public schools. Candidates also called on more money for education, saying schools need to be fairly funded. You have uh, school districts which uh, lack resources but yet still have a lot of students, and you have private schools which are siphoning off uh, funds. There is nothing more important than the education of our children. We have to have that mindset. Every candidate also saying they support a woman's right to choose, no exceptions. Many also advocating for an assault weapon ban. Incumbent Republican Scott Perry responding to the debate, saying in part, quote, voters in the 10th Congressional District saw a field of Democrats clamoring to become Biden's running mate this fall. Perry is running unopposed in his party. That was Sarah Wilson reporting. Our Dennis Owens also asked Janelle Stelson, who currently lives in Lancaster County, if she would move into the district if she won the primary. She said yes. If you missed the debate, we have the entire thing online. Just go to abc27.com. Pennsylvania's primary election is on April 23rd. So did you watch and did you have an idea of who you thought won the debate? We have a poll set up on our website, abc27.com where you can cast a vote for the candidate you think did the best last night. This morning, Mike O'Brien is leading that vote with 43%, followed closely by Blake Lynch with 40%. All other candidates, including Janelle Stelson, have 6% or less.